hello everyone welcome to yet another tutorial today we are going to look at how to create an ik setup for our lamp okay so you must have created this animation from my previous tutorial i'll put the link below in the description okay by no means uh, the animation is complete here i want you guys to further enhance it so that you get something like this one which i had shown you in the beginning All right, so I want you to spend some time and get this effect for your lamp animation. All right, uh, I have also uh, uploaded a video on how to create the environment, and I'll put the link to that also in the description so you can create that. However, today we are going to look at how to create an IK rig. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to save as and save this file as lamp fk to ik all right so this is forward kinematics and you can see that you have to animate every single element individually to get the animation so this can be a lengthy process because you have to keep animating every single element separately what we will do is now that we have saved this file as another file i'm going to get rid of all these keyframes and i'm also going to get rid of all these linking okay so now you have no keyframes now what we are going to do is we are going to use Dweek Bezel plugin to create the animation. All right, so Dweek Bezel plugin can be found uh, if you go and search online for Dweek Bezel, you will get Rainbox Labs website, and then click on the download option here. Select whether we, you want Windows or Mac. All right, you can donate them because they are offering this free service. Okay, once Doig Bezel plugin is downloaded, go to your downloads and open that zip file. There's a script UI panels. You want this file, you copy that file, and then you go to your PC, C drive. Go to program files adobe after effects support files go to scripts go to show ui panel and then you paste that okay so you paste it i already have it so you'll get that okay once that is done if you have already after effects open exit out of after effects and open it again and if you go to window you will see that Duik Basil plugin will be available. All right. So we are going to go to the rigging option, and there is the bone setup, and there is the links and constraint setup. So in the bone setup, we are going to use the arm option. So you go to the settings in the arm, and we need the arm, forearm, and hand, which is the default option. Okay. So you click there and then say create. All right. So what Duik is going to do is it is going to create four more layers of bones. Okay, so these bones, we will link these arms to these bones. And when the bones are animated, the arms will be animated. All right. And what we do is uh, now for the setup, we will move this. And this first bone is going to be at the base here. Okay this object which is the base i want it to also animate from here okay so the base will be selected and anim animated separately so when the lamp is in the air you can animate the base moving around all right so if you want so that gives an added level of control uh, for your lamp animation now the second bone 
price will not go. I don't want to change. All right, so the second bone is going to be placed here where they connect. The third bone will go at the joint of this and this bone will be the chip will go here okay now the lamp also will be selected separately and its pivot point has to be uh, where the bone is as well okay then what we are going to do is we are going to create a null object so layer new null object and this null object is going to be used to animate the entire lamp okay so it's going to be at the base of the lamp all right so now we will do the linking of this so that things are ready to animate so our base null object i'll move it above so our base will be connected to the null object this arm will also be connected to the null object okay and then the first hand will connect to so you'll click on the stick pick whip and drop it drag it to the arm so it says four second hand will be layer number three this will be layer number two lamp will be arm tip okay so all these things are linked now if you select the null object your entire object moves all right so now what we need to do is we need to create that control the inverse kinematics control so you can just select one control and animate all these four bones okay so we'll go to this links and constraints and click on auto rig and ik okay and this is going to add one more layer of control so you can see these i'll close this to egg basil i don't need it anymore so you can see these layers start with s which means structure so this is the structure the bones and c is the control this hand has been created now you can even make the hand size big if you want okay so it's easy to select not too big something like that okay so we can select it and now if i select this and move it okay the connection is again broken so this arm has to be connected to the null object okay now the entire thing is mo moving but the hand is not moving so what we will do is select the hand control and connect it to the null object as well okay so now the whole thing will move if you want to animate the base you can animate the base separately and this will be used to animate the arms okay if you hit the R key you can rotate that element and then if you want this can rotate this lamp separately as well okay so we will do some cleanup work in the layers all these structure elements we don't really need them okay so they they are not necessary to be visible so we will get rid of them and they don't need to be in the layers as well so i'll click on this button so they the layer has been shied and then if you click on this it disappears as well all right now the base is important this lamp is important these three they need to be visible but they don't need to be in the layers so i'll get rid of them all right so now we just have these four layers that can be animated to create our animation so our rigging part here is complete i can animate the rig these bones can be animated okay if you stretch they can go beyond. okay and then you can so you'll have to animate the position shift rotate of this option null object 
position the base will be only rotation this all will be rotation all right so these are the only controls that we will be using to create the animation of the map okay so it would uh, in the next class we will create the animation but i would like you to uh, create some lamp animation and see what you can get with it okay thank you very much